Hello, my name is Justin Bright, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program version 1.3, in which I am attempting to make Kerbals a multi-planetary species. As I mentioned in the previous episode, I am working now with the Candle Crane to try to figure out how to use TCA, Throttle Controlled Avionics. Uh, I was having quite a time, and in this episode, I'm just going to kind of go over some of the highlights of the just the great fun that I had. <laughs> in trying to get this to work with uh, my current setup. Uh, so, as I mentioned previously, the way that I got this to work in my old setup was that I just went into the save and I turned on all the modules that were not allowed to be on. Uh, as it turns out, that's not just like a procedural balance type thing. That's not the reason why that is uh, the way that that is. It's, it does that because it actually reads something into the vessel or from the vessel and kind of sets up a profile of how this thing works. Um, so before I realized that that was the case, let's see how I did. Alright, so this is my second time coming down and my first time with the big heavy payload of a... Um, uh, an ore tank uh, DIY kit materi and material kit, which is the standard setup for each of these uh, things. And I just kind of went through and I was just kind of flipping on the buttons, flipping off the buttons, trying to figure out exactly what these things were doing because I was just kind of jumping at it live and seeing how it went. Um, started off just by burning off some of my speed, my vertical velocity. Uh, coming in in kind of the way that I had been before because the only real modules that I uh, had a lot of interest in were the go-to um, and the um, the vertical control modules so the ones that uh, help control your vertical velocity and the ones that allow you to hover the other ones could be useful and I could find a lot of use for them but uh, when I installed this mod, these are the things that I needed help with. And as you can see, this thing does not have a great idea of what this vessel can do. Curse smash. It's the lag smash. Alright, carrying swiftly on to our second flight. Um, this one I had made it up in my mind to not use the actual landing module and just try to do this uh, a little bit more manually, take things more into my own control because I had assumed that the results of my first test meant that um, <laughs> TCA just could not be trusted uh, with uh, handling that whole landing procedure since it just flat out did not work. So I'm just dealing now with the vertical velocity. We kind of flew up into the air and now I'm remembering that I actually should probably retract that antenna before it snaps off due to aerodynamic forces because we are indeed falling from about about 30 kilometers. Um, but yeah, so in this case we're doing the very normal thing of just pushing our retrograde surface velocity vector on top of the target that we are trying to reach which is bringing us closer and closer to uh coming down straight vertical because i figured uh if i could eliminate the horizontal variable perhaps that would make things a lot easier and here we are coming down a little bit more and now I got bold and enabled um, TCA and let's click the hover button and we're not hovering maybe if I enter in a value 30 meters go hover at 30 meters let's ignore the fact that I'm at 28 uh, 2800 meters and then we smash into the ground but you know the core of the vessel, most of it anyways, lands sort of safe, so that's uh, an improvement, I guess, question mark. Of course, half of the vessel's gone, so I can't continue tests, so we're just going to have to call this particular landing a loss. All right, and so here we are again, and I'm flipping through the uh, the menus once again, a pretty familiar sight for me by now as I go back over this. Uh, this is something that I did over several hours of playing around with this and trying to get this right. Um, 
trying to solve a problem with a faulty premise. <laughs> But yeah, here's me turning this on and discovering that um, it is having a little bit of a hard time figuring out what direction I want to be in. And let's just start flipping around. Yeah, just flip it. Um, because I think that TCA at this point assumed that the thrust was unbalanced coming from the four engines, even though the weight on this vessel is perfectly balanced. Like, it needs no help with being balanced in a perfectly, like, Y-axis sort of way. So every time that I would click, like, the hover button or the go-to or something like that, and we would just start to flip around, and then I would click on the engines and try to figure out, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Yeah, like, like that. <laughs> it tried to correct itself up into a horizon, into a perfectly uh, up-down posture, and it was not able to do so. So, we came around again to uh, another attempt, which I am once again, like, looking at things and going, how can we get this to actually point in the correct direction and come down? And here I once again make the fateful decision of clicking on the go to button, which, um, as you may have noticed, is not working all that great for me with the vessel not set up properly. Uh, my genius idea here was I was going to mess with the maximum uh, horizontal velocity allowed, which is what that slider is, um, which I thought might help control the vessel and keep it from flipping around like it has been. And it actually does help, to be perfectly honest. This, this actually got a little bit closer there. Uh, not all of the things that I tried worked exactly the way that they um, were intended to, and that's kind of the more frustrating part of this whole this whole period where I was where I was playing with this was uh, I was getting mixed results on all of the things that I was trying. It's not like it flat out didn't work at all. Like it it worked some, and some of the things I tried worked, which made me think that, well, this is just a problem with me not doing it correctly. Like, I'm not pressing the right buttons, I'm not using the right controls, I'm not, uh, my inputs are incorrect in some way. Um, but that's not actually the root of the problem. The root of the problem was the vessel was not configured, and so there was never any real chance of me being able to get this to work. And now I'm flying in thinking that I have this uh, at least kind of right, or at least that I have nothing else to lose, and we'll try go to. Um, and on our following attempt, we are actually going to go back to old me, who thinks that he has this whole thing buttoned up. Kaboom! Alright, I think I've finally figured out all the different knobs and levers to turn to get this thing to work just about correctly. So, we have found ourselves directly over our position. Looks like TCA is just kind of fiddling around a little bit and getting ourselves in just the right sort of position. I'm turning off my RCS because we are just about over and I think we are out of the woods. Now I'm using the um, auto throttle to lower ourselves down very carefully. Uh, I find that a little bit easier and more intuitive to use than the um, uh, hover, which smashed me into the ground several times in a row. Uh, so we are just going to slowly come down. And the way that this seems to work is I can set my desired vertical speed and then TCA will do its darndest to match it. Which means that I can set that value to zero if need be. And that will effectively hover. All right, we are almost there. Seems like there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of an input lag almost. So you got to be real careful about this, especially with big big engines like this. It's a little touchy. Uh, I wonder. Uh, we are real close now, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and drop a piece. And we're going to pop up a little bit. 
Now let's move ourselves over. I'm just trying to use RCS here. I think I just landed. I mean, I guess that's nice, but not really what I was looking to do here. Land, please. Why are we going up still? Where are you going now? Why are you flying away? All right, and then as you can hear old me's descent into madness, um, I really have no idea what was going on with this particular flight. Uh, the TCA really seemed to just have a mind of its own as I was just clicking on different buttons, trying different things, and then it started spiraling and tried to kill itself. Uh, but I actually managed to save it by turning it off and sailing up into the air I was actually able to recover from that particular spin fly up fly around do a gigantic loop-de-loop -loop, spend a tremendous amount of fuel as was the case on all of these and then we got down to drop off the do-it-yourself kit and we came a little bit closer, just slowly lowering ourselves down, actually using auto throttle, which was working admirably at this stage, even though I still had a little bit of lateral velocity. And decouple that. And oh gosh, oh gosh, no! <laughs> and then this started spinning like this, and I turned off... TCA and I said no I'm not gonna let this one die I am going to juggle this one into the air <laughs> and just burn the engines when it is directly underneath and even when it is moving uh, the vessel in an opposite vector from where I want to be so I can keep myself roughly over the target we will survive with this particular landing I've come so far <laughs> oh, I really was going pretty crazy, but um, finally, 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 we got to the point where I had just given up on using TCA. I was just going to do this manually. We were going to very carefully come in right near the other bits and bring this piece down so that we could drop it. And then, oh, we're falling over, falling over, falling over. I can't lose this now. Undock. Go! <laughs> just go! Uh, just point up and out and burn that engine so we can get this thing into orbit. Nothing has exploded. Nothing has blown up. All of the pieces are actually down. And this is the... Um, this is the segment that I actually saved. This is actually canonical, I suppose. Um... I, I normally try not to save scum too much. I say that a million times, but in cases like this where I'm dealing with what turns out to have been a bug and what uh, can very honestly be said was a misconfigured mod, and that's entirely on my fault. I once again want to reiterate that this, none of this is the mod's fault. None of this is on the, the mod or the mod author. This was all me abusing and misusing this mod. Um, but... We got the stuff down, we're gonna call this good. Now I'm just getting the candle crane up into orbit and I think what is gonna come next is going to be, be me replacing the candle crane. All right, so here we have the candle crane version two that I'm going to be sending out. Um, you may have noticed in my previous fumbling that um, I didn't actually spend the time to set this up properly. So uh, what I did was I just flipped on um, TCA like by editing the save file and enabling everything instead of actually going through the process of actually setting things up. So what I've done here is I've actually gone in, I've turned on the engine groups to register these engines, I've uh, gone in here and got that all assigned and I've done everything that I think that I know that I'm supposed to do as far as getting things set up. Um, so we have auto throttle on, we have collision prevention system on, I don't know what that one does, but that sounds cool. 
uh, flight stabilization and VTOL assist and hover. And those are all the things that we actually want for this particular vessel. Uh, it actually says balanced 100%. Thank you very much. That was one of the biggest problems that I was having with the candle crate was that it was flipping itself out all over the place uh, whenever I turned on TCA. And I have to imagine that's because it was using like some kind of default profile, some kind of ad hoc profile that it was putting together on the fly to prevent itself from like crashing by trying to read something that doesn't exist. Um, the other issue was the lack of control authority. And for that, uh, I, I couldn't figure out a way to do this that wasn't cheesy. So I just stapled on some more inline stabilizers because we're using the fusion drive and we're already having trouble with monopropellant. So I don't want to try to like use bigger monopropellant thrusters or things like that. So we're just going to use this additional torque to try to twist this around and see how that works. So before we send this out, let's play with this a little bit and test it. Okay, so now we have this controlled and let's see what we can do with this. There we go. Now we're using the auto throttle here to increase and decrease our velocity. Very nice. And we can just hover and clicking that just stops me right wherever I am. And oh, that's kind of neat. It looks like if I use shift and control, it'll actually just raise and lower me just slightly. And if I plus 10, it'll raise me and lower me that amount but there's a limit to how much it can do at once obviously if you put it down below the ground then you're gonna smack into the ground uh, cool so that's pretty neat let's try uh, I'm gonna target this flag let's I want to see something here let's see uh, why are my engines off Okay, so just turning off TCA seems to be all I need to do to get back control of things. So when I'm doing manual things in orbit, I think I can use that. But there's also, it looks like, all kinds of mechjebish sorts of controls here. So what I wanted to try was, in my own powered stupid flight, what happens if I target that, go to the navigation, turn on hover... Oh, it's being real weird. Okay, so that just doesn't work the way that I think it does. I need to actually, like, the th if I'm not using auto throttle, I need to just kind of throttle it and then just leave it be, basically, or else it doesn't actually um, do what I think it's going to do. Like, if it's not, if it's down here, then it actually has to mess with these throttles to to make it work. And if it's too low, then it's too low, and it can't actually do what I'm asking it to do. Fascinating. This is all a very interesting learning experience that I probably should have done before I tried to implement this live on Duna. Uh, so what I would like to try now, now that we've got that, we'll turn on auto throttle. That sounds fine. Hovers, fine. What I'd like to do, now that we have that targeted... Oops. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the reactor. Kaboom! Okay, hold on one moment. Okay, this time not forgetting to turn on my radiators and my reactor because torch drives take power, huzzah. Okay, uh, so that was silly, but fine. So let's turn this off. We'll turn the throttle all the way up. Turn this on. Uh, do, 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 do. I want to hover at... Is there a way to like hover just, oh, there we go. Just hover on me, rare I am, that's cool. Okay, uh, so what I'd like to do from here, uh, I'm targeting Kerbal Space Center, and this is kind of the use case of uh, landing stuff on Duna, right? So I'm about a kilometer up and away from this flag that I wanna get down to. So what happens if I go to? Oh God, that's terrifying. But look, if we can do this on Kerbin, then we can definitely do it on Duna. It will actually be easier, I think, because the gravity is less, right? So this gets us, looks like, directly over it. I don't know that it's going to take me down closer to it at all. Uh, and then what if I just click land? Find me a landing sequence. 
Landing. Oh god. This is terrifying, but this is fine. This is good. Uh, it looks like it's doing this just awesome now that I actually configured it. Go figure, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, this is this is the problem that I have is I get really impatient and then I try to do things and I think I'm real clever, but then, you know, I skip some steps. You'd think as someone who writes manuals for a living, I would stop to read the manual. But now that I've actually looked things over and uh, I think we've got this set up in a much better way. So we are actually going to send, um, if not this one, probably not this one, I'll at least reload the game. Uh, I will send something very much like it out to Duna with um, the intention of using that instead of what I have there, the regular candle crane. Uh, because this is just so much superior, like, because all of the stuff actually works. And the additional uh, control authority and everything else just makes it so much better. Um, important to note that there's no guarantee that this thing is going to put me in a decent spot. So I would just like to note that the land command uh, says to try to land on the nearest flat surface. It landed on the only slope in the area and almost fell over. Um... It came real close though, so I just need to be careful about exactly how I do that. But that's not really one of the use cases for this vessel necessarily, question mark, quote unquote. Um, but yeah, so this is better and this will work. So let's see if I can't figure out what else I need to bring out there. I think somebody mentioned specialized parts is something else I forgot um, because I'm great at this planning thing. I have this whole spreadsheet and this like one note full of all my notes and all the things that I need to bring and set up and checklists and everything else and I'm still forgetting critical core components. Um, yeah, so good times. But now that I have um, OSE Workshop installed, there was a 1.3 recompile. Uh, now that I have that reinstalled, uh, I actually might need those specialized parts. So let's get ourselves on back to the vehicle assembly building and then we will get this thing sent off. All right, so I'm actually out of time uh, for this episode, so we are going to cut it there while I get this thing built. Um, so if you enjoyed this episode, it had a lot more explosions than normal, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, please share and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode.